Nu har vi fått in en ny gäst. Eh, och det är eh, Arno. Ja, precis. Um, full name is Arno Smith, one of the co-founders of Funded by Me and mm. um, pretty much at this stage handling a lot of the I say kind of like handling ha helping out with the technical details on on the company and so on. So uh, yeah, thanks for having us. I think it's been it's been absolutely fantastic seeing how you guys have actually progressed with your project. You know, you've been just blowing all of the records out of the water. So it's been it's been absolutely amazing. Yeah. What, what kind of records? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> tell me more. Where we start? Where we start? <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> So I mean, you guys had Noah here the other day. Unfortunately, you couldn't do the million in, in three minutes. But um, you know, you've you've basically reached over kind of like the thousand backers, which we've never seen before, um, especially here in kind of like the Nordics. And then the other thing is also uh, the biggest amount raised. You know, the biggest one that we've seen specific here in the Nordics has been uh, Martin Boris with his project, which is called Granska Slesari Mia Skattepengar, and um, it's. He, he took 45 days to raise 550,000 crowns so you know congratulations to you guys you've you've done it already and i think you know there's there's been a lot of talk about kind of like uh i've been sitting and listening here the whole time and just wanted to kind of like get up and and chip into the conversation and everything but i i said i'll i'll wait for my time um but i think you know the interesting thing that you guys have, have kind of like come across you thought that you know what happens if you don't reach the million crowns and i I think you know from from kind of like a, that's that's a very magical number to hit. But I think because you guys already have this thousand two hundred backers behind you, you have no idea the amount of resources that you're going to have to your availability. Um, you know, kind of like looking back towards one of our projects, which uh, which did really really well. Um, you know, for a lot of people out there, it's it's actually called Flipping Burgers, and these guys now you know um about three and a half years ago they raised thirty-two thousand crowns and today they're a very well established uh, hamburger restaurant here in sweden uh, in stockholm specifically and uh they've been able to use their crowd to the best of their abilities just in terms of like spreading the word getting them engaged and making sure that they could um help them out as much as possible mm -hmm. so. mm. and we really look forward to that phase where we actually can do that uh, to be able to uh, to get close to the community that is uh, engaged in our project. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, in the beginning we, we most stared at the the euro column and now we are looking more and more to the number of backers yes. the column because yeah. the, exactly, the, yeah, exactly. that's becoming more and more interesting and, and also as, as the discussion discussion before here with the I mean with the students in journalism uh, in, in Stockholm how they want to contribute to contribute when the project is, is launched with their ideas and yeah. experience and expertise and and, uh, and so on. Uh, I mean, we are. I mean, I'm new to crowdfunding, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, I mean, th there has been some uh, uh, American projects. There is a Dutch project which we've been looking at, but uh, it's. I like the idea to compare ourselves to the to the Nordic context mm -hmm. uh, and Absolutely. not to compare ourselves to to the United States or, or any English-speaking mm. no, crowdfunding I mean, project. Uh, I mean and that's yeah, yeah, yeah. They're quite a few years ahead <coughs> of us, and I yeah. think that, you know, we're, we're still a couple of years behind. But uh, if you look at the overall kind of like, you know, the giving mentality here in Sweden and in Scandinavia itself, mm. people are very, very willing to kind of like open up their hearts and open up their wallets and basically give to a cause, which is absolutely amazing. And I think that's, that's exactly what people should be doing tonight. You know, open mm. up your hearts, open up your wallets, and make sure that you can kind of like help you guys actually reach your goal because mm -hmm. at the end of the day you know the more people that are involved the better this project is going to be exactly. mm -hmm. um, and I, I definitely think that it's a worthy worthy cause so mm -hmm. yeah and I mean you know just just in terms of like you know crowdfunding and stuff as I said it is it is a very very new phenomenon but you also mentioned a little bit earlier you know it has been around for quite some time mm -hmm. if you look back to kind of like the Statue of Liberty um, you know one of the founders actually took out a uh, an ad and put it into uh, I'm not sure which magazine exactly it was, but he basically said that, you know, for X amount of dollars, you can actually buy a small version of the Statue of Liberty. Mm -hmm. And just a lot of people started sending in money because they really wanted to see that the Statue of Liberty was, um, was something that was going to become a reality mm -hmm. at the end of the day. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. But what do you have, uh, I mean, ahead from your experience? Now we are into the, the last uh, <laughs> <laughs> four or five days. Yeah, so I mean, I'm, I've, and, uh, I've been sitting in, you know, first of all, I kind of like watch TV4 and everything and been taking a lot of videos and taking a lot of photos and stuff and kind uh, of like uh, mailing everyone. And, uh, uh, you know, from our point of view, it, it is quite a big day for us as well because today we're actually turning four years old. So today, mm. or oh, like four oh. years ago, it, we, we were only two people sitting um, kind of like in a free office just 
you know, having it as a hobby project, and mm -hmm. today it is actually mm -hmm. a company. So, you know, we're, we're kind of like looking towards developing the concept even further, making sure that we can uh, really help entrepreneurs in, in actually kind of like reaching their dreams, reaching their goals, and getting more and more people involved. Um, mm -hmm. From a different point of view, you know, we've, I've been kind of like sitting and looking at the stats as well, and, uh, you know, this is giving us some really, really good data to kind of like analyze to see how people are moving, how they're mm -hmm. actually acting on the site, what they're kind of like reacting towards. Mm -hmm. And um, based on some of the forecasting, I think if, uh, you know, if, as I said, if everyone can kind of like pull it together, I definitely think you guys can make this, mm -hmm. this goal. So. Well, that will be interesting to look into the stats afterwards to yeah. see uh, com uh, where you have some traditional PR uh, and um, where from the networking perspective mm. who drove what uh, activity and so on because uh, we don't have a media budget mm. uh, it's a quite a complicated idea to present yeah, absolutely. Uh, and the crowdfunding at itself especially for this kind of product mm. Mm. Or, um, um, so we, we do have we look forward to when we can get into all the details <laughs> regarding yeah, the, yeah. the data from from very uh, many different angles yeah absolutely and I think it's it's also something we can probably help you guys with mm. just kind of like you know digging into that data and kind of like seeing what works best you know from a from kind of like a traditional point of view if you look towards a lot of the success factors for uh, for crowdfunding campaigns it is the fact that most of them uh, actually bring about 80 percent of their own uh, out of out of their own networks and so on mm -hmm. but i think in this case you know you guys had to do very very well you still had to do a lot but i think that some of the people that have actually gone in has done a lot of the legwork for you you know they've gone mm -hmm. into social media they've basically talked to all of their friends mm -hmm. Um, I mean, a lot of the traditional media that actually picked it up and kind of like helped you guys get across that threshold. And uh, mm -hmm. you can really see it. I mean, as I said, you know, you guys are, you are the biggest reward-based project thus far in the Nordic. So mm -hmm. hats yeah. off to you. Ah. <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> when Daniel was well, here, yeah. our first launch day, he yes. said, you do re realize that when the camera turns off tonight, this is only the start of the marathon. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. So uh, I guess you you still keep saying that for us as well, yeah. and and uh, uh, also beyond Thursday. Yeah, I mean it's it's definitely you know once the once kind of like the money is in the bank and uh, everything actually starts up, or well, that's really when things start happening. You know now you've kind of like you've reached that goal, and now the actual reality kind of like comes out. You have to build the project. You have to kind of like start presenting news to people, and I think. You know, one of the important things that um, that you just need to keep in mind is that even if you are going to be late with kind of like delivering the project, transparency all across the board. Mm. Make mm -hmm. sure that you keep people involved. Make sure that you mail them quite often. Make sure that you have a very, very good dialogue with them. Mm -hmm. Because once you are uh, kind of like over communicating, it means that you are in a very, very good way. Uh, people are actually understanding that, you know. Uh, we've seen that with, with a lot of... Um, crowdfunding projects that was a little bit more uh, product based I would say mm -hmm. people that haven't been able to deliver on timelines and so on and they just they kind of like thought okay well you know if we don't mention it people mm -hmm. probably won't look after us mm -hmm. but um, I think the, the more communication that actually went on the better it ended up being for them in the end because they can understand that you know s certain things take time or a little bit longer than anticipated yeah. But I said, I mean, we are freelance journalists. We live and die for deadlines. <laughs> it's <laughs> Absolute, not, absolutely. It's yeah. not a question of not delivering. Yeah, no, I mean, uh, <laughs> on uh, on time, the the material, and yeah. and, and uh, if we get this million in uh, for 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 September, yeah. I I uh, well, I. I failed one deadline in my mm. life, and then I was shot and jailed for 438 days. Yeah, that's, no, that's, 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 that's a different a good story. Excuse. <laughs> <laughs> that's a good excuse. I will not fail another deadline. No, no, no. absolutely not. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> any last advice for the, the for the face until Thursday? How do we keep up the yeah, momentum I, here? I mean, I would again, I, w I would say that you guys have done the bulk of the work now. Um, really, now it's kind of like up to the public. Um, you know, do do kind of like the last pushes. Make sure that everyone who is actually sitting and listening here will will um, we'll go out, will kind of like, as I said, open up their hearts, open up their, their wallets and speak to people and just make sure that they can, they can kind of like support you guys, you know, whether that's from just donating the nine crowns or donating mm -hmm. for 24 crowns mm -hmm. or actually going up to kind of like the highest level, I definitely think that there's a lot of different ways that people can become involved. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much, and it's You're always welcome. wonderful to talk to you guys from Funded by Me because you really set focus so strongly on everybody who is engaged uh, mm -hmm. 
which is what crowdfunding uh, is about. But it's so great listening to you. And for me, I mean, I'm sure we will keep the, if we reach the million, the, the crowdfunding concept. I mean, also yes. in the future yes. for us. The, I don't see this as, I mean, the end uh, mm. of our relationship. It's, because mm. I, when, I, when I see this method of working, I can imagine a situation where, where journalists on the field would, would face a problem and suddenly expenses go up, suddenly yeah. the, uh, I mean, a war breaks out and you mm. need to buy new tickets or, or something. And kind of having the readers with you that close, you can explain that we need now emergency uh, assistance yeah. on mm. the field and, and people would support these journalists for, for, for this cause in some Absolutely. kind of quick, uh, specific yeah. mm. crowdfunding, I mean, in, in, in the future also. Yeah. Yeah. No, I, I absolutely yeah. believe that, yeah. and, you know, as long as you kind of like stick to the, stick to the core message of, you know, what is it that you want the money for and yeah. how you're actually going to use it, then I yeah. think people are going to understand it very, very quickly. Yeah. And uh, that's really one of the strong points that gets across in kind of like the presentation of the project. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm.